What's the problem, Bax? Right. I have some disturbing news. You see, I've been thinking. Yeah, yeah, get to the point. Well, I don't really think, do I? I'm a super intelligent AI with a constant connection to all human knowledge. I don't have thoughts. I have load times. But after everything I've been through, dying, seeing all those people whose brains Sky Larson scooped out and turned into AI, being reborn, it got me pondering the nature of my own existence like some kind of renaissance aristocrat who's grown tired of buggering the servants. I don't think I've always been software. Hold up. You think you were a person? Like I said, disturbing. Since we visited that lab, I found a series of images buried in my operating system. I think they might be memories of some kind, but the images are corrupted so I can't say. I think this must be what it's like not to know things, and I think I hate it. Bugs, this is mad. Send the pics, we'll help you remember. Well, if it'll set your mind at rest, I sent you the images. If you get me a clear visual of each location, I can composite it with the image from my OS and remember more of my past life. Shortcake with extra strawberries. There you go, love. Hello, you fucking beauty. Hmm. Hmm. Ugh, seems like I really enjoyed that meal. Is that really what you hear every time you eat something? Dear God. is Sky Larson. Seems like the usual suspect where brain fuckery is concerned. Lovely, dear. Can't believe we missed the cricket match for this. Sport will come and go, son. But knowledge, creativity, intellect, those things will stay with you forever. Yeah, Bagley. Brown noser! Ow! An athletic competition? Evolutionarily, that's one level above two apes seeing who can stick the larger rock up their bum, and it was my favorite thing to do. Huh. Listen, mate, I, I can't take you to the cricket. I'm sorry. What? Why? Go ahead. Tell him. I... well, I... Your father has decided he wants to leave. 
for someone he really loves. That's enough. We agreed to have one last day out, and now you're making a scene. I didn't make this scene, Kevin. You did. It's strange listening to these voices. I'm feeling a connection to humans. Not to my father, though. He seemed like a tosser. Seizure. Uncontrolled electrical activity in the brain. Could be epilepsy. Good thing I wasn't actually on the Thames. due for another treatment next week. I, I don't know how she's doing it, but I haven't had a seizure in almost a year. I'm free. I'm so happy for you, Bax. And not even that stupid nickname can ruin my mood, so go on, wear it out. So, are we really gonna make a go of this? I'm ready for the rest of my life, Arthur. And I want you to be a part of it. Arthur! I should remember more about him, but I don't. As we can tell, your brother's dealing with early onset dementia. The condition is in line with the kind of violent outburst he had at the British Library. Now we can keep him and monitor his progress. Thank you, Doctor. May I have a moment? Of course. You listen to me. I don't care what it takes. No brother of mine is going to waste away in some hospital. Early onset dementia. But if that's the case, when was I neural mapped? Round, mate, way, Arthur, Natalie, what are we toasting to this time? Come on. As if you're not just going to toast yourself again. Good idea. To the newest member of the UC London rowing team. Your plot for Olympic domination has only just begun. Remember this moment, you two. You'll be telling your children about the night you got pissed with a future gold medalist. Whatever you say, Bagley. Mate, don't call me that. That's not my name. Rowing, I see. Well, that's not too bad as sports go. It's almost a science. Lots of physics involved.
can't believe this. I mean, I've recorded some of the stuff in there. This was not easy for them. They should have never met. So this old ghost started talking about right, dating go. again, and I was like, I sure, so makes sense. She never swallowed so me on the pool. But then, I had to explain to the Baron, my fucking SDI prevention. Why do I have a feeling we're not up here to reminisce? Ah, uh, right. I've been thinking a lot about your epilepsy. That's nice. My doctor stopped thinking about it years ago. I've had to give up so much because of it. Rowing. My mates. My, uh... Yeah. I'm sorry, Bradley. Wow. Look at you using my real name for once. I must be truly fucked. What if I told you I had something that could work? Huh. Never knew you were funny. I'm not. It's a tech we're developing. It's early stages, but... Have you ever heard of neural mapping? No. Here, let's go to my lab. I'll show you. Lead the way, Sky. I was Sky Larson's brother. I'm Bradley. Bradley Larson. Bradley Larson. I found a room prepaid through to April 4th, 2040, under the name of Bradley Larson, paid for by S. Larson. You're still alive, fam. Where's the room at? St. Pancras Hotel. You have arrived at your destination. Well, my destination. I live, Bradley lives, here. Look, just go in whenever you want. Hi. I want to talk to Brad Larson. Oh, are you a friend of his? Yeah, yeah, we, we were on the same rowing team in, uh, in university or whatever. I see. Well, it's nice of you to visit, but I wouldn't expect much conversation. Mr. Larson hasn't been able to say a word for well over a year now. His dementia reached stage seven long ago. But go on in. I'll give you some privacy. On a fire in New Zealand yesterday. The men's aid set a record time easily defeating the Germans and the Dutch, who placed a distant second and third. The women's aid fought it out in a real tussle down the corner. I'm sorry, Bags. Not what you was hoping for. for I have to talk to him. Cast me to the telly. Both Team GB crews will be content... Listen, you don't know me, but I know you. I've done a lot of searching, and I do think I know you. You were a rower. You loved and were loved. You liked strawberries. You had a sister you trusted, and she hurt you. And I'm sorry. You deserve better. But nothing Sky did to you changes who you are. You lived a life that I never could. You're a good person, and I am someone else. This has been an illuminating conversation. Thank you, Bradley. I'm glad I finally met you. So long, Bradley. So what now, bruv? Do we call you Brad? Be Rad. No, no, I'm Bagley. I'm sure of it now. Bradley and I just share a common ancestor. Anyway, I appreciate this. And if you ever tell anyone else I said that, I will coldly and methodically engineer all of your deaths. Anytime, Bags.